Hi everyone, my name is Titiji KFC Research and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Today, our discussion on calculus will be on the differentiation of logarithmic functions. This is a very interesting one. So, this logarithmic function we are going to talk about, and I hope you know logarithms. Logarithms. So, when we say logarithms, look at it. So, we write logs like this log, and maybe log b base a. We call this log b base a. Now, when we say lean, we list our loss with a natural base. So, we say natural loss. There are loss with a natural base. So, lean is just a log with a natural base e, an exponential, an exponential function of e. So, this is uh, lean. So, anytime you see lean, know that lean is a what? It's a log with a natural base e. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. So today, before this video will end, I will take you through how to differentiate logarithmic functions. Then, if there is time, we will also learn how to differentiate some special functions. They are very special. We will see how special it is. So come with me. Now, before we come to the differentiation of logarithmic functions or lean functions, leans, I will try to revise your knowledge on some laws of logarithms. I know you remember this. So if we have log maybe x, y, base a, we say it to be equal to log x base a plus log y base a. Then the second one, if we have log x over y base a, it will be equal to log y uh, log x base a minus log y base a. Now the third one, which I know you will be abreast or you will be comfort, you know it by now, is log x exponent a base, x exponent n base a. It will be equal to, we just, it will be n log s base a. And I know you can prove all these things. Check out my video on how to prove all these uh, logarith uh, lo uh, the laws of logarithms. I'll, I'll prove all these things. So tune it to my YouTube channel. You'll get to know how to prove all these things. So knowing this and with what I'm coming to explain again will help us to differentiate any logarithmic functions. So another thing, look at this. If I have two over three. And I ask you to reciprocate this 2 over 3 is simply 3 over 2. Reciprocate. That is it. So if I have 2x plus 5 over x squared plus 3, and I ask you to reciprocate this, please, they are not equal. They are not equal. Though, I'm just talking about the reciprocal. So when I ask you to reciprocate this, it will be x squared plus 3 over 2x Plus five. That's just the denominator will become the numerator, and the numerator will become the denominator. That's the reciprocation of a fraction. And I hope you will know that very well. So if I have, let's say, 2x plus 5, and I ask you to reciprocate this, look at this. The denominator here is 1. Any number written, the denominator is 1. So when I ask you to reciprocate, it will be 1 over 2x plus 5. I know, know this very well. So that when we come to the differentiation, you will not have any problem with it. So come with me. Okay, so let's learn how to differentiate this now. So if you are asked to differentiate lin x, you say if y is equal to lin x, find the other values. Remember, this lin is not anything. It's just uh, a log with a natural base of e. So we can write this as log s base e. It's not anything difficult. It's not anything difficult. So let's go. Now, what's the simple way? The secret behind the differentiation of logarithmic function. There is a secret. What's the secret? The secret is just in that. You see the function here. Reciprocate it. After you reciprocate the function, now differentiate it and use it to multiply your reciprocal. That is all. 
So first you reciprocate the function, differentiate the function, and use it to multiply the reciprocal. So when we reciprocate x, remember it's over one. So I divide by the s. Reciprocate that. On reciprocate. So since it's over one, on reciprocate, you get one over x. Now differentiate x. When you differentiate x, what do you get? You get one. Use it to multiply. So when one, one multiply that, the answer is still this. That is all. So if y is equal to in x, our divide by the s will be one over x. Very simple. Very, very simple. Now let's look at another one. Maybe y is equal to lean 2x squared plus 5. What do we do? First, so to find our divide by ds, what do we do? We need to first reciprocate. On reciprocate is what do we get? Remember it's over 1, so we get 1 over. So 2x squared plus 5. Now we differentiate and use it to multiply. On differentiate this, what do we get? We get 4x. Remember this is constant, so on differentiate is 0. So our divide by ds will be equal to, so we have 4x all over 2x squared plus 5. So this becomes the gradient function of this function, this kef. Lean y equal to lean 2x squared plus 5. Our divide by ds will be 4x all over 2x squared plus 5. I hope, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. We'll solve one more. We'll solve another one so that you get a concept. So there is another one. If y is equal to lean, the function 1 over 2x plus 5, find the other by this. So remember the rule. We reciprocate, differentiate the function, and use it to multiply. Now we can rewrite this function as lean 2x plus 5 exponent 1. I know you know this by now. So remember, the differentiation of this, how do we define? Let's revise that. So this, to differentiate this, we use what? We use chain rule. So you drop the exponents, differentiate the base, repeat the function again, subtract one from the exponents. Please, if you have problem with differentiation of these functions, check my videos on YouTube. There is a, there is a differentiation without using chain rule, direct. Check it out. It's very simple, and I know you will understand. So now, Remember, we reciprocate first. After we reciprocate, we differentiate the function using to multiply. On reciprocate this function, what do you get? We we'll flip the denominator become the numerator. So we we'll have 2s plus 5. I, I hope you get that. This will be over 1, but it's insignificant to it. It will not make any difference. Now we differentiate this function. Remember, we we'll drop. So we we'll drop negative 1. Now we differentiate what is in the bracket. When you differentiate two s, you get two. You differentiate five, you get zero. We repeat the function again: two s plus five, and subtract one from the exponent. Now, so that will be minus two. Minus one, minus one will be minus two. So we can polish this. You can polish this. So we have two s plus five. This will be negative two. So we can bring the negative two here. So we have negative two. To multiply now this so times our 2s plus 5 exponent negative 2 remember we can drop this because it's having a negative exponent so what we have we can have negative 2 into bracket 2s plus 5 all over 2s plus 5 exponent 2 i hope you get that this is from indices is from indices. So we can repolish this. Let's copy that. Our right, divide by ds, remember, was equal to negative 2 bracket 2s plus 5 over 2s plus 5 all square. So remember, this is a repeated root. So what we have, we can have negative 2, 2s plus 5 all over 2s plus 5. In bracket another 2s plus 5. See, this is the same as that. Remember, it's multiplying, so you can square that. So this will divide one of that. So in shall divide by ds will be equal to negative 2 all over 2s plus 5. I, I hope you get that. So this becomes the gradient. 
the gradient function of this case lean 1 over 2s plus 5. I hope you get that. We'll solve another one. Okay, so next up, is if y is equal to lean cos s, find your over the s. So what do we do? Now y is equal to lean cos s. So what is the secret behind the differentiation of logarithmic function? We say reciprocate the function. Reciprocate this and differentiate and use it to multiply. So what do we do? Uh, do have the yes. oh, Remember, this is over 1. So, 1 will reciprocate, you get 1 over cos x. Now, when we differentiate cos x, what do we get? We get negative sin x. Polish it. Our uh, derivative of the s will be equal to negative sin x over cos x. Remember, sin x over cos x is what? It's tan x. So, you can say this is negative tan s. So our dy over ds in natural will be called negative tan x. So this becomes a gradient function of this. I hope you get that. It's, it's not anything difficult, and I know you understand. So we'll do another one again. Okay, so next stop is if y is equal to lean bracket x the square root of x squared plus 1. Find your over ds. Please, when such things happen, don't try to, I mean, reciprocate the function first and differentiate and use it to multiply. It will be very difficult. So I'll just show you one secret. We we'll use the law, the law of differentiation, and the law of logarithm to, to differentiate the law. Remember, this is multiplying. So the first, I'll show you that, that if we have log x, y, base a, it will be equal to log x base a plus log log y base a. I, I show you that from the beginning already. So remember, lean is also a log with a natural a natural base a. So this thing is nothing but log with a base a. So we can, it's multiplying. Can you see it's multiplying? It's multiplying. So we can rewrite it in another form. Okay, so we can say that our y is equal to lean x, another one, one of the functions plus lean the square root of x squared plus one. I hope you, you get that using the loss of logarithm, using the loss. So we can rewrite this again as lean x plus lean x squared plus one exponent half. Any, the square root of any number is a number to the exponent half. So now we will use this, the, uh, the, the secret behind the differentiating logarithmic function. Reciprocate the function and differentiate and use it to multiply. So our dy over ds is equal to when we differentiate this, when we differentiate this, what do we get? When we reciprocate this, we get 1 over s. When we differentiate this 1, we use it to multiply. Plus, remember, when we, recipro when we reciprocate this, this is over 1. So when we reciprocate, we get 1 over x squared plus 1 exponent half. Then we differentiate and use it to multiply. So remember, we use chain. So we drop half. Differentiate what is in a bracket. 2x. Now when we differentiate, 1 is 0. Repeat the function again and subtract 1 from the exponent. So once subtract 1 from half, we get negative half. So what we have? We have 1 over x. Let's polish it very well. So plus, see these two can divide that. Two. So half times 2 is 1. So we have x there. So plus 1 over x squared plus 1 all exponent half. So we'll be left with x times x squared plus 1 exponent negative half. Exponent negative half. Remember, this is negative. We can drop it to become positive. We can drop that to become positive. So what we have, remember we are having 1 over x plus 1 over x squared plus 1 exponent half times 
x bracket x squared plus 1 exponent negative half. That's what we have. So now let's go. We we'll have 1 over x. Remember this is multiplying. So 1 uh, plus, you can drop this, so you have 1 over x squared plus 1 exponent half times x over x squared plus 1 exponent half. Exponent half. What we have is remember when two when two what uh, fractions are multiplied, numerator multiply numerator, and denominator multiply denominator. So we get one over x plus one times x is x over this times is remember this is the multiplication of two this thing with the same base. So what is indices telling us when we are two distance and two functions are multiplying with the same base, we just add the exponent. Remember that if we have 2 exponent 3 times 2 exponent 4, the answer will just be 2 exponent 3 plus 4, which will be 2 exponent 7. I hope you get that. So with that law, since they are multiplying with the same base, we just add the exponent. So we have x squared plus 1 exponent half plus half. So half 1 over x plus x all over. So half plus half is 1. Half plus half is 1. And x squared plus 1 exponent 1 will be x squared plus 1. What do we do now? The next thing you need to do is that you need to find the LCM of this. So what is the LCM? The LCM is x bracket x squared plus 1. So if x Divide this, we'll be left with x squared plus 1. We use it to multiply. So we have x squared plus 1. Now, if x divides it, we'll be left with x. Multiply this, we get x squared. x times s is x squared. So let's polish that. So we have x squared plus 1 plus our x squared all over x bracket x squared plus 1. So what we have now, look at it. So x squared plus x squared. We become 2x squared plus 1 all over x bracket x squared plus 1. Then this becomes our derivative, the derivative of this function. I hope, I hope you get that. Is there anything difficult? Play over the video and I hope you understand. We'll solve one more on this. So the next stop, another one. If y is equal to lean sin s over cos s, find the y by the s. Uh, you can reciprocate this differentiate the function easy to multiply, but it will be very difficult for you. You will face problems. So we'll still use the laws of logarithm. Remember, logarithm is when it is divided with the same base. You subtract. So we can rewrite this function as y is equal to lean sin s minus lean cos s. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. Now, what do we do? We differentiate this 10 by 10. So our dy over ds will be equal to. Now we reciprocate the function first. So 1 over sin x. Remember, here is over 1. Now we differentiate sin x. On differentiate sin x, we get cos s. Minus. We reciprocate this to 1 over cos s. When we differentiate cos s, what do we get? We get negative sin s. So what do we have here? We can probably we get cos x over sin x. So remember, this is negative. When we multiply, we, get, we can get plus. So plus sin s over cos s. So what do we have now? Look at it. Cos s over sin s is the reciprocal or the inverse of tan. Because sin s over cos s is tan. So the inverse of tan is what? The inverse of tan is cot. So cot s plus then this will be tan x. Then this becomes our dy over dy. I hope you get that. I hope you understand. Let's see what happens in the next one. 
So there is one nice one on the board. <laughs> if you read this, someone will say, how would I differentiate this? It's very simple. It's because you don't know. I'll let you know today. Look at this. If y is equal to uh, e exponent lean 2x plus 5, then find you out by the s. I'll find you out by the s. Look at it. See, anytime lean meets e, the answer is the function. Or the answer, there is, the answer is just the function. So anytime you have e or e exponent lean 2, the answer is 2. It's 2. If you have e exponent lean maybe 5, the answer is 1. It's 5. It's 5. You can take your calculator, do e, uh, the exponential function to the exponent lean maybe 6. It will give you 6. It will give you 6. So you are going to use that same idea to do this. It's not anything difficult. So with what I've explained, <laughs> can you tell me the answer to this? Oh wow, you want to say 2x plus, plus 5. You are right. You are right. So if y is equal to e exponentially 2x plus 5, y is just 2x plus 5. Don't let it confuse you. So what will be our derivative of this? The derivative of this is nothing but two. It's two. It's two. It, it's very easy. It's very easy. And I know you understand. I know you understand. Let's do another one again. So if we have lean e uh, maybe 2s plus 5. Anytime y equal to that. Anytime lean meets the exponential function. The answer is nothing but the function, this one here, the exponent here. Remember, we can see, we can rewrite this thing as lean. Remember, this is log to a natural base e, so we can have 2s plus 5. Remember, the third law of logarithm, we can drop that, then we have what? Log e base e. A log to the same base is 1. A log to the same base is 1. So if you have log 2 base 2, the answer is 1. The answer is 1. So this is nothing but 2. 2s two plus 5. It's nothing but 2s plus 5. So we differentiate that. So our dy, so we can say our y here will be 2s plus 5. So our dy over ds is nothing but 2. Very easy. Very, very easy. So please, uh, check it out. Check it out. We'll end it here today. Uh, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Uh, so that anytime I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Please, let your comments come. Your comments keeps me going. So let it come. Until then, bye-bye.